right guys it's my 2240 we're gonna do a little bit of customization to it um i'm actually gonna customize a uh a red dot laser to it something that i haven't seen anybody done to to one of these guns you know the way i'm gonna do it at least um how i'm gonna do it is we're gonna take the end cap off here for the co2 all right and uh we're gonna put this away because we don't we don't need this anymore anyway it's not for now until we get to shoot it Then you're gonna need a laser bore sighter, preferably from NC Star, which is what I'm using now. They're actually good. Um, you're gonna need the end cap. You're gonna need some pliers, pressure pliers. Uh, you can use crazy glue, but I don't have crazy glue, so I'm using some um, bonding agent, which is, um, I forgot what the crap is called. Uh, some tape you're gonna need a uh, 5 16 drill bit and you're gonna need a Dremel with a cutoff tool now the idea behind this is to uh, take the cap right now the hole on the cap is 5 16 it's actually I think a little bit more but it works the cap is a little bit bigger than the 516, but it works. And uh, we're going to take the bore starter off. And as you can see, turn the cap over for the CO2 and the bore starter where the laser screws in, which this one works for 177 pellet guns and up to 22 caliber air guns and regular rimfire. Um, you can put this in here. And it actually fits in there with no play at all. It's perfect. I mean, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're going to drill all the way through until we get to the other side, and then this end is gonna come right flush on top of here. We'll glue it down, and then we can screw in our laser sight right to the cap itself without any problems. So um, this is part one of the laser bore sight turned into a laser sight for the 2240. I can't, you know, put pause and keep filming because I'm doing it with my phone, so I'm not doing it with a regular camera, so the second part, I'll show you it being done.